I'm Congressman Peter Roskam. Welcome back to Ask Peter. I recently heard from David Cannon from Elk Grove Village, who raised an interesting point. And in, in a sense, he said, look, is President Obama's plan that bad? And is it really going to have that much of an impact on job creation? David, I think the answer is yes. There's a word of caution about the president's plan, and it's largely focusing in on a study that was recently published by Ernst & Young. Ernst & Young looked at the president's plan and said that if it moves into place, in other words, if you raise taxes as the president has contemplated, it would adversely impact 700,000 jobs nationwide and 30,000 jobs in Illinois. That's a major problem. A lot of companies pay at the individual tax rate, and if you raise taxes at the high end of an individual rate, ironically, you're raising taxes on job creators. And here's the point. 54% of people in Illinois work for those types of companies. So I say, let's not tax the job creators. Instead, let's go a different direction and let's reform the tax code. So this week, the House has moved for language that creates a pathway to remove the, to remove the obstacles for job creation, to reform the tax code, to get rid of the crony capitalism and all the nonsense that makes all of us upset about it, and to move forward on a pathway that begins to make sense. I need to hear from you and others through email and phone call and Twitter and Facebook, old-fashioned letters too. I'm Congressman Peter Roskam, and thanks for watching.